The military grid system is a network of squares formed by the north-south and east-west grid lines printed on a map. The purpose of the grid system is to enable the soldier to quickly and accurately locate a point on a map. This video focuses on determining the coordinates of the grid square, determining grid coordinates of a point with and without a coordinate scale and protractor, or plotting scale, and identifying the 100,000 meter square identifier to determine a grid coordinate. Determine the coordinates of the grid square. Select the grid square that contains the identified point on the map. Always begin your reading from the southwest corner. Read the north-south grid line that precedes the desired point, and record the number associated with that line. Read the east-west grid line that precedes the desired point. Record the number associated with that line. The number of digits represents the degree of precision to which a point has been located and measured on a map. The more digits, the more precise the measurement. In the above example, the four digits 1181 identify the 1000 meter grid square to be used. Determine the point grid coordinates without a coordinate scale and protractor or plotting scale. Allocate the grid square into a 10 by 10 grid. Read right from the lower left corner to the imaginary grid line nearest the identified point. In the example, the north-south imaginary line nearest the point is halfway or 5 lines out of a total of 10 lines. Therefore, the first half of your grid coordinate is 115. Read up from the first point reached to the imaginary grid line nearest the identified point. In the example, the east-west imaginary line nearest the point is one-third of the way up, or 3 lines out of 10 lines. Therefore, the second half of your grid coordinate is 813. Determine point grid coordinates with coordinate scale and protractor or plotting scale. The most accurate way to determine the coordinates of a point on a map is with a coordinate scale. You need not imagine lines because you can find the exact coordinates using the coordinate scale and protractor or plotting scale. Each device includes two coordinate scales, 1 to 25,000 and 1 to 50,000 meters. Make sure that regardless of which device you use, you choose the correct scale. Locate the grid square where the point is located. Determine the coordinates of the grid square. The number of the vertical grid line on the left or west side of the grid square gives the first and second digits of the coordinate. The number of the horizontal grid line on the bottom or south side of the grid square gives the fourth and fifth digits of the coordinate. Determine the third and sixth digits of the coordinate. Place a coordinate scale and protractor or a plotting scale on the bottom horizontal grid line of the grid square containing point alpha. Check to see that the zeros of the coordinate scale are in the lower left hand or southwest corner of the grid square where point alpha is located. Slide the scale to the right, keeping the bottom of the scale on the bottom grid line until point alpha is under the vertical or right hand scale. To determine the six digit coordinate, look at the 100 meter mark on the bottom scale, which is nearest the vertical grid line. This mark is the third digit of the number 115. The 100 meter mark on the vertical scale nearest to point alpha gives you the sixth digit of the number 813. The complete grid coordinate is 115813. Always read right and then up. There is a 100,000 meter square identifier, represented as a series of letters associated with each 100,000 meter square grid in the military grid reference system. Determining a location's 100,000 meter square identifier and adding the identifier to your grid coordinate allows you to specify and communicate a location on a map with greater precision. Add the 100,000 meter square identifier to the determined grid coordinate. Determine the 100,000 meter square identification by looking at the grid reference box in the margin of the map. Whenever a map covers multiple 100,000 meter square identification grids, as shown in this example, Foxtrot Lima, Golf Lima, and the first three digits are above 500, choose the left designator. If the first three digits are below 500, choose the right designator. Place the 100,000 meter square identifier in front of the grid coordinate. In the example given, the grid coordinate becomes Gulf Lima 115813. Further location precision can be achieved by using the grid zone designation listed in the map's margin. Identify the grid zone designation 16 Tango in this example by looking in the grid zone designation box in the margin of the map. 
Place the grid zone designation, 1-6 Tango, in front of the 100,000 meter square identifier, Gulf Lima, and the grid coordinate, 115-813. The final grid coordinate becomes 1-6 Tango, Gulf Lima, 115-813. By learning to utilize the grid system, you will be able to locate any point on a map in order to perform any number of land navigation tasks.